When you buy a new home, you're gonna be inundated from all these different companies to buy stuff. And I wanna give you a suggestion that can save you a lot of money. One of the types of companies that's gonna hound you after purchasing a home are alarm companies. And there are some really big companies and it sounds great because you don't have to put any money out of pocket, but they end up costing you a lot of money in the long run, like 60, 70, $80 a month for a minimum of a three-year contract. And I wanna make a suggestion that could save you a lot of money. What I recommend is to look at systems like the Ring, Abode, or Simply Safe. They're readily available, and the difference is that you'll pay, uh, you'll pay some money up front because you're gonna buy the equipment, but you're gonna save a ton of money in the long run, especially on the monitoring fees. Now, a lot of times you have a house that is pre-wired for an alarm. It has sensors already built into the windows and doors, and you may think that you have to get one of these fancy alarm systems from a big company in order to take advantage of it, but it's not true. I'm gonna show you how you can uh, install your own alarm system utilizing the built-in sensors that are may already be in your house. You can utilize all those wired sensors. So how do you know if your home has uh, wired or wireless sensors? Well, take a look at the doors and windows and you're gonna see a small little sensor like this and if it is a wired system you'll likely see a wire um, next to it now uh, for doors very often these are located at the top of the door and so you won't see the sensor as easily but usually everything gets terminated into a control box and you'll know that you have a central alarm system simply by locating this box, looking inside and seeing if there's a lot of wiring. In a closet in houses that have a central alarm system, you'll see a box like this. It's the type of box that's most commonly used. And when you open it up, there's tons of little wires in there that connect to like very often a uh, an open circuit board. And there's a small battery that recharges so that it works uh, even if your power goes out. So one advantage that the Ring system has over some other competing products is that they have an adapter kit, which you see here. These two boxes allow you to take a wired system and then uh, tie them into these transmitters, which will then communicate with the Ring base system so that you can actually utilize all of the wired sensors in your house. This is a huge savings. You don't need to put wireless sensors on each door and window. You can just wire into what you already have. If your house isn't wired for an alarm system, you can certainly add these sensors wirelessly now. And it's so simple. If you can set up a uh, TV nowadays or a computer, you can easily set up one of these alarm systems and they're so good and they have a great monitoring system. So they're monitored every bit as effectively. So if you have a break-in or a fire or a medical emergency, uh, they will send help. I'm going to show you this ring system, which is super easy to install. Now, I put this one in. Um, this is a little technology box where uh, the, the telephone wire and the Cat5 all come together. And uh, it was just convenient because the, for best performance, this should plug right into your uh, cable modem or internet uh, router. Um, which is located somewhere in your house. It does not have to go in a box like this. It can sit in a cabinet or on a desk, but this is the ring system. I've also installed abode systems at my office, both very easy to install. You can buy kits that include a bunch of sensors and they just peel and stick on doors and windows. There's also a lot of other accessories like cameras and uh, glass break sensors and flood sensors. So you can have all these things, even a freeze sensor. So if you live in a cold weather climate and you're worried about your pipes freezing, it will tell you if your furnace fails and the temperature inside your house gets below a certain point, it can alert you. And uh, what's nice is you get a keypad, just like you might be used to uh, traditionally, so you can arm or disarm your system very quickly when you enter the house. Really for less than $1,000, you can buy a very, very well uh, appointed system with lots of features, multiple keypads, cameras, and um, you are going to save money over the years by the greatly reduced monitoring fees. And you get a lot of flexibility and satisfaction in this system by setting it up yourself. It's super easy to do. Um, they operate off of a phone app, so you can view the cameras, activate or deactivate your system, 
And um, after having set up both the abode system and the ring system, I have to tell you, I really like the ring system uh, better. Okay, so now that we've gone over the basics of a do-it-yourself alarm system versus a huge company, uh, let's go through the savings for the first three years because that's usually the contract length that you have to sign and I'll show you how much money you can save. So with a big local company, I was quoted a $125 initiation fee. Uh, then it was $40 a month for a base monitoring fee with a minimum of three years. But then they wanted to charge me an additional $450 per camera. So if we're gonna set up three cameras, that's $1,350 um, and $768 for each year of monitoring. And so the total three-year cost of an outside company doing this is $3,779. With the ring system, all the equipment was approximately $1,500 and $200 a year for the monitoring for a total three-year cost of $2,100 for a grand total savings of $1,679 over the first three years. And of course, you're probably gonna keep the system for many, many years, so the savings will just compound over the years. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and post any questions below.